All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Haskin Cast podcast. I am your host, Scott Haskin, and I have two absolutely amazing people here with me. I have Bird and Makita. You know them from the Judge Judy show, but they are so much more than that one job that they did for way too long. How are you guys doing? <laughs> We're good. How are you? How are you, Scott? I'm doing very well, thank you. I am uh, a little perplexed, as probably a lot of people are, as to exactly what happened, why you're not a part of the new show uh, that Judge Judy's doing. Um, the way that I understand it, I'm sure you've told this story about 50 times in the last few weeks, so I'm going to save you that. I'm going to tell you the story that I heard, and then you tell me where I'm wrong. <laughs> um, the way I heard it is that when the show ended in April, which had to be a, a emotionally difficult thing to deal with because that's been part of your life for so long. And then some health issues that we're going to get into a little bit later. Um, but the new show was coming together and you were not invited. And when you questioned her on, you know, why wasn't I talked about or anything, she said that you outbid yourself with too high of a salary. Is that true? Uh, yes, her, her, word, her words, her exact words were, I priced myself out of consideration for the bailiff on the new show. <laughs> so here's my question. You were never offered the position, so there was no salary negotiation. Were they just taking your current salary from Judge Judy and saying, well, he's not going to take any less than this and not consulting you? I, I, I believe that that's, that's what was, you know, at hand, but, you know, but we were working for CBS for, you know, 25 years mm -hmm. uh, and CBS was paying my salary. And of course, going into the new show, um, uh, Amazon would be paying my salary. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and we all know that Amazon is pr oh, probably uh, about to declare bankruptcy. No. <laughs> yeah, they're hurting pretty bad these days. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. They're, 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 they're really straining for the dollar <laughs> right, there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know my God, uh, so much stuff is showing up on my doorstep. I know I could have paid my own salary. <laughs> right. you know? And so, so yeah, yeah, so, so, so yeah, it, it was, a, you know, it was a matter of, of you know, you, you look at that and you go, okay, whatever. You know, the the bottom line is the choice was was the Judge Judy or the new Judy Justice production that that was that that was within their wheelhouse to say, you know, hey, we want this bailiff or we want that bailiff or we don't want any bailiff. It's a, it would be up to them. But, you know, to come up with that kind of lame excuse is like, OK, yeah, I, I realize I realize I, I did. I did ask for too much when I didn't ask for anything. Yeah, how <laughs> dare you, by the way. I, I meant to say, how dare you for for not, yeah. for doing what you didn't do. I, I think, and, and, you know, I've never met her. I don't know her at all, other than what I see on TV, which I assume to a great extent is a persona. It's a character that she plays. She's not just yelling at people all the time in real life. But it, it seems no, she to does. me... No. <laughs> 25 years of working together, 35 years of, of knowing each knowing other. Each other. Yeah. I think the thing that would bother me the most, because if, if the network wants to change things up, they want to change the relationship, change the dynamic. I get that. But for there to be no communication, no, hey, I'm being offered this show. They want to do things a little bit different. I, I can't bring you on. Just something, some kind of communication Am I missing something there? Am I am I being unfairly judging of her? Uh, well, you know, here's the deal. Here's the deal. You stand three feet away from somebody for 25 years. You know, first of all, your feet hurt all the damn time. Yeah. <laughs> and then <laughs> and then it's like, well, you know, if you had leaned over at one point and just said, hey, by the way, um, you know, we're going to end Judge Judy and I'm getting ready to do something else. And, you know, you're not going along for the ride, you know, um, that would be appreciated. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, you know, the, you know, tell the tell the tell the guy who cleans the bathrooms that uh, you're about to close the museum, mm -hmm. you know, forever. Right. <laughs> you know? yeah. So that that way that way he can find someplace else to clean the bathrooms. I don't know. You know, yeah. but. But uh, you know, I it, this this is this is the the thing I've been liking in it too. Uh, I love analogies and stuff like that. So I tell people, I go, it's like being Robin, 
and you're standing on a corner of, of Fifth and Main in Gotham City waiting for Batman to show up in the Batmobile. And when Batman does show up in the Batmobile, you get ready to jump in and Batman goes, ah, ah, ah. you're not going along for this ride. And oh, by the way, uh, can I get the keys to Wayne Manor and the Batcave? Uh, you can keep the tights. Okay. <laughs> you know, yeah. they're yours. You, you've you earned them. And uh, so long. And, he, and then you look in the car. Not only do you do you see Batman in the car, but you look in there and you, and you say, who's the guy sitting next to you? And he goes, Melvin. And you go, Batman and Melvin? You, you think that's really going to, you know, <laughs> you right? think the yeah. public is going to pick up on that, that, you know, you're, you're crime fighting with Melvin now. Yeah. So, uh, you know, that's, that's just the way it is. I mean, it's your choice. But the other thing is at the end of the day, uh, at the end of the day, when you've been robbing that long, after a while, you want your own Batmobile and you want your own Batcave. And matter of fact, you want your own name. So you don't want to be known as, as Robin anymore. You want to be right. known as Nightwing, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And so I, I think I'm going into my Nightwing era. <laughs> well, and, and that's that's the difference between people, especially these days, because you can bitch and complain and moan about what happened to you. Or you can say, all right, this is where it all fell. And here's what I'm going to do now and move forward right. with life. Uh, I think that we t tend to live in this. I need to be angry about things way longer than I need to be so that I don't have an, a reason to go and move my life forward. I exactly. love that you're love not doing that. No, no, you know, hey, listen, and on top of that, you know, you wish Batman well as he drives off, even though you remove some of the lug nuts from the back. No, I'm just. <laughs> I didn't put the potato in the tailpipe. You backed into it and I had it in my hand. That's right. That's right. So uh, one, one, uh, two real quick uh, more questions about the show, if you don't mm -hmm. mind. Um, did you ever in, in all those years, did you ever stand there? for all those hours and at some point go, I just can't listen to this anymore. <laughs> the, the cases or the Judy? cases. Yeah. <laughs> because no, I mean, after a while it kind of gets repetitive. I watched a lot of judge Judy when I was researching, you know, court decisions for my book. And right. so I, I really wanted to understand how she made her decisions. And I think she was fairly misunderstood. People didn't understand that she's just cutting down all the stuff she doesn't need to determine the case where people are like, this is my moment. I'm on TV. I want to tell my story. I want to get my feelings out. And she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't need yeah, that I'm to make the, a decision. I'm the, I'm, I, as she always said, I'm not Dr. Phil. You, you, want, you want your feelings heard, go to Dr. Phil. Exactly, yeah. So, so, so here's, here's the deal with that. You know, she, um, uh, for, 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 for many years, okay, so you realize that I heard all the cases she heard, all of them. In their entirety. In fact, I would challenge that I heard the cases, okay? <laughs> All right? Because I don't believe that you can talk and hear at the same time, right? right? Mm -hmm. You know, now, fortunately for me, I'm deaf in this ear now after 25 years. And so my wife always talks to me on the other side. Ooh, is that why you're sitting <laughs> in the positions that you're sitting <laughs> That's right why now? we're sitting in the positions <laughs> we're sitting now. No, but, but, but really, uh, uh, people come... Uh, people would come to the show or they go to any court show or any court looking for justice. And if not justice, they're looking to be heard. Uh, that's why they call them hearings mm -hmm. and, and, and not talkings. So, you know, that's, that's what they, that's what they come for. And when, when they come there and their, their story is truncated and, and, and it's, you know, like it's aborted, she is a she is a producer, so she would tell her her the, her, the litigants, you know, hey, listen, you know, go in there, uh, you got a good case, you know, there's a good chance that she's gonna listen to you, but just in case she doesn't, <laughs> make sure you get this point in. Mm -hmm. Well, they get out there, and all of a sudden there are all these cameras, and and you know they're they're wired, and they've been in makeup, and you know, and 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 all the stuff that has nothing to do with your case has been done to them. And now this woman is sitting in front of them and she's barking questions at them and she's doing it in a prosecutorial manner. Mm -hmm. So she's going, listen, just answer my question. Um, is not an answer. Just answer my question. Right. I just, I just want this much information. Well, wait a minute. There are nuances to my case that you don't know about. Mm -hmm. And besides 
that really nice producer lady told me to make sure that you heard this. Well, now it looks like the litigant is being rude mm -hmm. and that the litigant is trying to run roughshod over Judge Judy. And they're not. Right. What they're trying to do is they're trying to get their case heard. Well, and, and they're so, throwing off their game, too, because obviously walking into the room, they're nervous. I'm sure she's larger yeah. than life when she comes out behind the bench. You're standing exactly. there and, you know, they yep. see you on TV, but now you're really in the room. And then they're they have this in their head. I need to say all these things. And when they get that flow interrupted, now it just throws them off and they start getting more nervous and, you know, tripping over their own words and things like I do on the podcast all the time. <laughs> So uh, my other question for you guys about the show is when you found out it was ending and you had those those last moments and you think about, I'm going to get up on Monday and there's nothing to do. How did you guys deal with that after so long of having this job? You want to tell them what there was to do immediately following? <laughs> well, yeah, I, my yeah. surgery. Right. <laughs> my surgery was the next day. <laughs> wow. So you really didn't have time yeah. to process all of that. I didn't have time that. to, yeah, to process going anywhere except for in the operation room. <laughs> right. So, and that's the perfect segue into. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I was just going to say that. So how are you feeling right now? What is going on with you these days? That's the most important thing of, of all of this. I feel great right now. Um, I'm still going through chemo. Um, my last session of chemo should be in January. Um, and I'm just making the best of it. So, yeah, good. Well, I'm very glad to hear that there's a very good prognosis and that you're almost done. January is not that far away. Um, yes. And, you know, it, we're happening, it's happening in a time now where we're so far medically advanced and so many people that have cancer, cancer are being obviously. cured and, and it's been beaten back. And I'm so glad that if it's going to happen, that it's happening now as opposed to 10 years ago or 20 years ago. When Absolutely. we didn't have the abilities that we have now. So this one, this one here is so heroic, though. I, I tell you, Scott, <laughs> is, you know, I, you know, people keep saying to me, you know, hey, man, you know, that, that's really good that you, you know, this couldn't have happened at a better time. You were able to be home and, and be a good caretaker and everything. Best but, caretaker. <laughs> but but this 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 one here, you know, taking care of her is, you know, it's like having a cat. You know, I, I, I just put the bowl of food in front of her and she just looks at me like, why are you still here? So, <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, she's my she's my hero. She's my hero, though. I, I always say it. And she knows it, that uh, I, I, I have the privilege of waking up every morning next to my hero. Uh, and she, that. you know, she, her, her attitude, the doctors, all her doctors love her. Uh, they, <laughs> they, 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 I think they want to design like their, their care. They, they want to be able to like take pictures of her and, and, and testimony from her and then just hand it to their, their other patients and go here, here's, here's, here's how you're supposed to look at this. Okay. Yeah. You know? No, I, I think that's it. And it goes back to what we, what I was saying earlier. Again, another example of this is it really comes down to your attitude. You can yeah. say, well, you know what, uh, X amount of people die from cancer every year, X amount from this specific type, and you can get into all the ugliness of it. Or you can say, you know what, whatever time I have left in life, cancer or not, I'm going to enjoy every moment of it. I'm going to do things that make me happy, that make other people happy. And I'm just going to live my life and I'm going to beat this along the way. Right. It's all right. a choice. Yeah. You know, I mean, exactly. I'm sure you Is have it, your moments where it's difficult. Of you know? course, of course. Um, I have my my moments. Very, very rare, though, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, and very rare. Yeah. yeah. So it's like normally it's just being like fatigued or um, nauseous. Right. So, I mean, the fatigue, it's just that. And that's, that's usually when she smells my breath in the morning. <laughs> you know, that, you know. <laughs> I'm trying to do something about that, Scott. Just I'm a going little to bed at night with pillow. Mints. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, <laughs> that's a, now I know why the hotels do that. Exactly. Yeah. They leave mints them on, on top. the pillow. Of course. Yeah. They leave them on top so you know they're there. <laughs> and you right. just slip it under the bed like the, the mint fairy, you know. <laughs> uh, what are the things that you guys have, have done in kind of reinventing your lives and deciding your new direction is that you've created this wonderful YouTube channel called Bonding with Bird. Uh, Makita, your last name is Bond Bird. And obviously, your name is Bird, as we all know very well. Uh, so I think the title of the show is brilliant. And when I found out about it, I actually happened to see it just a few days before Harlan contacted me. And so the timing was really good. I'm like, I really like these people. I've got to reach out to them. 
And I put oh, your wow. name down on my paper. And then a couple of days later, here comes Harlan. So uh, <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. <laughs> but I, I've watched a few episodes of it. And there is just such a, a joy and, a, and really a love between you guys that I Aww. feel through the show that really makes whatever <laughs> you're talking about even more enjoyable. Because it feels like you guys want to be doing this together. And every topic that comes up, you want to talk about it together. Mm. It, it is, it is, uh, uh, it's us entertaining each other and the rest of the world being voyeurs. <laughs> they're, <laughs> that's, they're just, that's they're just looking at it. Great, yeah, you yeah know? because it started during the pandemic and we were just like having so much fun quarantining and not being able to go anywhere. And then we just took it to Instagram and we were just talking to folks mm -hmm. and then we took it to YouTube. So like, it's, it's amazing. Like I wouldn't do it with anyone else. So. Yeah. I mean, there's obviously a chemistry between you guys, which is certainly understandable. I mean, you've spent a good deal of time together, um, but it's just the, that regardless of what you're talking about, there's just a joy that you're talking to each other, that you're sharing all those topics together that really yeah. makes mm -hmm. it just a, a show that I'm like, I want to be part of your family now. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, and, and what's great for us, what's, what's funny is that whether we're watching TV or we're at the beach and we're just sitting watching people go by or what, whatever it is, you know, traveling somewhere, we are each other's favorite uh talking companion you know <laughs> and, and, and so you know uh i have i have never traveled so much and just like you know oh no you know i don't need to watch this movie or whatever the case may be i can just talk to her until she falls asleep and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then she wakes up and we start it all over again you know but she's she's uh she's my buddy you know it, yeah. it's all it's always great uh, you know, traveling with her. Yeah. If, we, if we if we go on the road, sometimes you know my family uh, uh, lives up in my kids live up in Sacramento, mm -hmm. and a lot of times we drive there, and it's a five hour drive. Mm -hmm. You know, and not only does she drive, but you know we, we'll we'll have these great conversations. You know, it's my intention to go to sleep or something, and we'll wind up talking all the way there. You know, mm -hmm. or singing songs or sharing music or whatever it is. And so, you know, this is this is this is what bonding with Bird. Uh, that's how it started. And that's how we continue to enjoy it. Well, it's fair. I mean, you leave her food out for her. She drives you up the countryside. It's, you know, <laughs> it's, it's a fair balance. It's a fair I got a feeling I'm going to hear about that food thing. Uh, right after you, get off, you know, what you mean you leave food for me? How dare you? Well, you got my number if you need to some counseling right? afterwards. <laughs> So, you know, and, and it's it's great because the, the first one I saw you guys were in the kitchen, you were doing some cooking and, and then, you know, everybody's, one, every, you know, everybody's watching that lately. Yeah, <laughs> it just it happened to be the first one that, that, that what happened yeah. was I saw it. I was looking for something on YouTube and it came up as one of the suggested videos. And I'm like, oh, wow. OK, let me see what this is all about. And, and I watched it. I'm like, these people are great together. That was the first thing that came to my mind. It, it, <laughs> and I watched a couple other clips. I'm like, whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. You know, it's just this is what our show is about right now in this moment, which I love yeah. because it's really natural. It's not like you're like, OK, here's the list of topics and we're going to do this. And then like you don't have a, as much of an agenda as it's just yeah. whatever you're doing. Uh, we, we, you know, the, 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 the funny part is that when we're preparing, especially when we're preparing our hot, our hot topics. Um, so, you know, your viewers may not know I'm 63, about to turn 64 at the end of this month. Makita is 37. Wow. And 36. Yeah, okay. That's you, what you, happens you, when you, you get you older. Keep, you keep, Wait, you get, no, am no, I 37? No, yes, you are 37. <laughs> oh, my God! Remember, I was 63. You were, th you were 63. No, I'm going, to be I'm going to be 37. No, your birthday. No, we're still. You turn, you're you turning turn, 64. You turned 37 yeah. on, on 729. Okay. Oh, all right. You, you check. Okay. 1984. That's when she was born. So, so I got, wow, I got right. this. Oh my God. Wow. You yeah. know, first they, of they all. They say, they say the mind is the second thing to go. <laughs> so anyway. Wow. Okay. <laughs> but, 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 but anyway, it's, 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 it's that. Right. It's that. It's, it's <laughs> that exact exchange. It's that, that, that exact uh, uh, formula that, that helps us uh, have so much fun on bonding with bird because what what she considers to be hot topics and stuff you know 
She'll, she'll, she'll say, she'll say, I am 37. She'll, <laughs> she'll, she'll say, she'll say names that I have, like, I have no idea who they are because I'm not keeping up with these new folks, these newfangled folks. I, on the other hand, am, am, I'm, I'm more likely to talk about, you know, hey, you know, black and what's, white what, what, black and white, or, or what's going on in government or mm-hmm. something like that, you know. And so, just you know, if you just watch us, you'll you'll notice the, <laughs> you'll notice the ones where she you know she she goes in about you know uh, waka, waka Waka and Fetty, <laughs> Fetty Wap, and I'm like, huh, you know, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, Fetty Wap. It sounds like an Italian bank, but no, uh, <laughs> stop it, Scott. So, <laughs> I'm the victim here, okay. <laughs> That's right. You know, but so, that's what we that's what we do. And that's how that's how we, we keep each other it's entertained. And, romance. Yes. Yeah. I, yes. I want there to be and, a and Christmas. How dare, how dare you call me May? <laughs> anyway. I really want there to be a Christmas movie that you guys make that you know your family comes over and you just film the whole thing. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> just okay. leave the laptop so, on so, the table so, and just like, somebody people... wants somebody wants producer credit. <laughs> I, I'm not saying that you need to sign an agreement with me, but if you wanted to, I would probably sign it. Uh, you know, even even just as like a developmental producer or something. Uh, but no, I, I mean, Christmas with your family has got to be just amazing. I'm sure Thanksgiving is too. Now you guys are going up to spend uh, Thanksgiving with the kids. Yes, 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 yes. And, uh, you know, it's it's amazing that their stepmother is uh, a year younger than my oldest daughter. <laughs> wow. <laughs> but, Wait, but, what? I, I, I swear we can't, we can't do I, this. No. How old is Valine? Oh, she's 38. Thank you. <laughs> oh, anyway, <laughs> anyway. Well, you're saying stepmother. I'm just like, who? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway, we're going up. We're going up there to spend Thanksgiving with the kids, and uh, and and uh, it's it's just it's just fun, you know. Uh, we, you know, whenever whenever we get together with them, uh, there there is there is such a, a a lighthearted banter that takes place between Makita and 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 my and my kids, if you will. Uh, but you know. They they get what she's talking about. They know who Fetty Wap is and Waka Flocka and all those people. They they speak that language, you know. And then they kind of check with me, like, uh, "You okay over there, old man?" Yeah, I'm just sleepy. <laughs> yeah. Can you give me some more licorice? <laughs> that's right. That's right. The, the, the no. grandchildren are walking across my head, you know. So, but, but he. Like you would think that he's thirty seven because, like, I don't understand where all his energy coming comes from or his memory. I have like the worst memory. Yeah, well, and you know, I, I damn sure don't have any energy. I was gonna say that for somebody who you know, I I can get a, an estimate of your age just by how long you worked on on the Judge Judy show, right? You've been on right. there for twenty five years. You probably weren't eighteen when you started because you went through college. You got a bachelor of science in. Uh, criminal, Ooh. what was it? Criminal, um, criminal justice, criminal justice, and uh, which makes sense. Uh, yeah. So I, I would say that you were at least, you know, fifty based on that. I would not have guessed you were that much older though, because you, wow. you're really full of life. You know, you're you're happy. You're just you got joy coming out of you. You aren't somebody who seems like you really would. Yeah. Well, that makes a difference. Yeah. 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 No, I love that. So, no, it's, it's 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 one you know, uh, it's wonderful. It's a, it's a it's a good life. You know, add to that uh, the uh, genetics and bl- black don't crack, and uh, <laughs> we're, we're 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 doing just fine. You know, I I, I have a feeling that that one day I'm going to age all at the same time. You know, so so one day I'll wake up and God will have just thrown like. 30 years on me, like real quick, like, oh, by the way, you, you know that you're 95 now, <clears throat> you know, that's, that's when you're going to live to your 101. There you go. And I'm going to push your wheelchair and you 101 minus a day. So you never have to know that somebody like me passed away. Oh, oh I love that. No, I stole it, but, <laughs> but I remembered it. Yeah, that's good. 
You know, it's it's the, but it really comes down to I mean, there's certain physical limitations. I mean, I'm I'm 49 now and I find that, you know, sometimes I stand up and something falls off and I go to pick it up and something else falls off. But it, it really comes down <laughs> to, you know, how you choose to live your life. And I don't understand um, this this just, you know, cloud of negativity and wanting to find joy in other people's defeats or, you know, when nasty oh. things happen to them. I don't understand where we're at as a society. I mean, you guys probably see a lot more in the way of people that I do because I'm pretty isolated. What do you guys think that it's going to take for us to get out of this? Wow. Wow. Then, then that is, there's a deep question. Um, I, I, I think I think it's going to take those of us who have the attitude that you just mentioned, uh, uh, passing it on to to others without <clears throat> without ramming it down their throats. You know, uh, the the best. You know, somebody said, uh, if you see somebody without a smile, give them one of yours. You know, and it sounds hokey and corny, but it's true. If if you know um, her her. Um, uh, outlook towards life, you know, she is, it's not even about her looking at the glass as half full. She looks at it as overflowing all the time. And so when there comes, you know, times and challenges that, that she has to face, she has a, a reserve stored up of this wonderful energy, you know, and she passes that energy on to other people. You know, the, most of the time, the comments that come at us uh, um, on Bonding with Bird are from people from around the world, from uh, Australia, South Africa, yeah. Australia, Ireland, Ireland uh, New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and and those people are, they, they're so delighted. They, they actually speak to her and they go, hi, Makita, or you look so cute today, or, you know, you, you know, that, that smile, just that smile, you know, and, and that's 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 a wonderful thing. And and I think I hope at least that I add to that in that they don't see me as, you know, the stern guy on Judge Judy, you know, and uh, just just mean attitude and don't mess with me while I'm doing my crossword. Uh, I think they I think they see me as wait a minute. He's he's crazy. He's fun to be around, you know, uh, and, and he likes he likes to laugh and joke and do impersonations and sing and do all of that stuff. <laughs> yeah. And 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 so they're perfect for one another, and and we complement each other so well. And, and I, you know, I can only be grateful that that she's in my life because uh, I I I think I could make it to a hundred and one. I think so too. With that with that kind of joy filling your day, how could you not? You know, that's right. Uh, when people ask me or people say something to me about the glass being half full, I think I just want to know what we're drinking. <laughs> you know, that's right. That's right. Half, half full of good scotch, you know, that can make all the difference in the world. Exactly. You know, uh, you know it, it's, it takes so little to bring a little bit of joy to somebody's life. And I find even just saying to somebody you haven't talked to in a while, hey, I was just thinking about you, I want to see how you're doing. That can change the course of somebody's day. It takes yeah. five seconds to do it. You know, it's so mm -hmm. little effort. But it seems mm -hmm. like people just are caught up in the bitching and complaining and politics and all this stuff that we have too much access to now that mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't get the attitude of just not wanting to be happy all the time. You know, right. Yeah, I don't get it either. You know, you know, uh, well, well, you know, so it's, it's amazing. Uh, 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 Stephen Wright said, you know, he said, I, I'd kill for a Nobel Peace Prize, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and, yeah. and that's and that's what is that's what it's like being, uh, you know, being being mean, but expecting good things in life, you know, mm -hmm. you know, how are you going to kvetch about about what's going on uh, in the world and and not be willing to do something about it? You know, you know, I, I think I think my my son said it best when he was a kid. He said, mean people suck. Mm. You know? Yeah, that, that cuts <laughs> to know? the chase. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so so life hands you lemons, you, you you know, you you make lemonade or you make a sour face, but the sour face is not going to help anybody else. Now the lemonade, hey man, you know, if you give out a little bit to everybody, everybody's a little happier. Exactly. Or a lemon drop. Or a lemon, Ooh, you yeah. know what? Oh, <laughs> can't, yeah. You can't go, you know. It's winter now. That's more of a summer just, drink just, for me. Just but. a tad, just tad bit of vodka in that lemon can make all the difference in the world. That's right, and a lot of vodka Lemonade. can do even better. 
<laughs> you know, I, I live in Vegas, so we, we have no uh, shortage of alcohol here whatsoever. <laughs> you know. Oh, no. No, no. Uh, so as, as we wrap up, I, I just want to say thank you guys for putting something out into the world that people can just go to YouTube, go to any one of your episodes. And no matter what they're going through, just just sink in and let their hearts warm up, let their cares melt away, see two people really embracing life and enjoying themselves. Uh, but I will say, in, in all the episodes I ever watched of Judge Judy, not once in the middle of a case did you ever just lean over and go, hey, what's a four-letter word for a container? The third letter's an I. I just wanted to hear you say that, like, just not care about what's going on. <laughs> Listen. I was I was plotting. I was plotting, you know, in the final year, I was like, you know, and then, you know, I, and then COVID, COVID hit, you know, yeah. Yeah. but, you know, had, you had, do a lot had, of had, had she had she, yeah, had she been, <laughs> you know, had she been sitting next to me, you know, uh, and I, I was just going to wait for like, and Bird, what do you think of that? And like, I think that you should just be quiet for a second and let him speak my <laughs> God woman. No, no. I'm oh, sorry, Jess. Did, so I, did I say, am I fired? Or just turn around and stare her down, just be like, <laughs> that's right. oh, there's so that's many so things so you could have done. That's so right. many. Well, if you ever yeah. get on another show with her for 25 years, you'll have your shot. That's right. That's Thank right. Matter of fact, that's going to be in the contract. Like, I'm going to start off. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for coming on the show. You are two just thank absolutely you. wonderful people. I love people that just bring joy into the world and make this a better place to live in. Thank you so much for doing what you guys do. And I'm sending a lot of good vibes your way, wishing you guys the absolute best. Thank you. Thank you so much, Scott. You bet. You guys take care. You okay, too. Bye-bye. Aren't these two just the best? I mean, you've got all the stuff that's going on in their lives, you know, long-term job ended, the surgery, the cancer, all this stuff. And yet here they are the whole time talking about it, smiling, laughing, completely in love with each other. You just feel the warmth coming right through your screen listening to these two. I highly recommend that you go check out their YouTube channel. The link is in the show notes, Bonding with Bird. If you're ever having a moment where you need to smile, just go right to that channel. I guarantee within less than a minute, you'll forget all your troubles. And that's what it's all about. They're amazing people. We'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers.